yeah so you're thinking about making your battery yourself right so then you go like oh yeah it's pretty easy you just gotta go and do some soldering here connect some cells and get a spot welder and then beep 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 really easy you know it's gonna buy a bms from ebay aliexpress anywhere there i'm gonna connect all these wires here everything will be fine very easy yeah yeah simple man i can do it myself right so well we have to plan ahead it's not just like a putting all together uh, like like this man you know I'm playing with Lego man there's a lot more things you should consider here okay a lot more things you should consider right so let's just start here uh, well you're gonna go uh, with this uh, you're gonna use a cell holder like that or you're gonna glue the cells together with a high quality glue like this right well you're gonna have to choose if you're going for something offset like this uh like funny awkward shapes oh you better go with glue right so glue is not ideal you know like a, i highly recommend have this so you have a gap between the cells so for better cooling uh, like uh, there's a lot of things the structure strength as well uh so try to stick with this okay try avoid uh, using glue gonna have to source the cells yourself okay so it's not really easy to uh, get cells nowadays there's a lot of restrictions now with lithium cells so you're gonna have to get like a 50 70 units like that takes like two months you have to choose what cell you're gonna use uh, we, the one we use here is LG MJ1 right so it's actually better than a Panasonic PF better than a Panasonic B because uh, it's actually the same discharge as the Panasonic PF but with a higher capacity than a Panasonic B right so this is awesome cell Boom! multimeter don't even think about playing with electronics without one of these things man you can measure the voltage you measure the resistance if you, the, the continuity of the circuits or something like that okay you need this this is the basic of the basics right you can get fluke nice brand or you can go with the generic one if you're not using this uh, all the time okay a uh, spot welder here and then we got some very funny shapes here and size R thicker skinny uh spot well actually you can reach all cells in the pack we're not limited to put so close to the spot well they're not reaching it just quickly showing i got a pedal so i can activate so i can hold with both hands and activate on the pedal here right so then you're gonna uh put this uh which is a thick paper uh it's, it's kind of like a cardboard but it's more like a thick paper uh it's for thermal uh protection here you're gonna put it on top of the cells because the cell itself is actually the whole body is negative so the negative actually comes all the way up here so if you melt the, uh, the protection here you cause a short secret wire here right cool so then you're gonna put in the bms uh what sort of bms you're gonna use you're gonna use a little tiny bms because you just have like a tiny space there for that you're gonna compromise and you, uh, like don't go with the small bms man it's more bms they fry man they, they they're horrible man check this one here completely melted don't go with the tiny ones okay unless you go with a very low power setup or you don't have much room 36 volts is okay right for 48 volts or something more powerful try to stick with the larger one they they have a, like a better components it's, it's not like all packed inside with the components all the way like you know like saturated you know, like to the maximum so this is the one we use here so we got all the spaghetti here and uh, all these wires you're gonna have to work out yourself how you connect these right this is the wire you connect to the battery minus and this you 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 do the charging and discharging all together here right in the same wire some bms they're gonna have a separate wiring here for one for charging one for discharging uh one for the battery and all this stuff some bms are gonna come up with this uh temperature sensor you're gonna glue to the cell right so and then taping the batteries together or taping the bms to the batteries or taping anything to the battery battery generates a lot of heat okay so this thing, the, the, the casing will be really warm as you use it, right? So normal regular packing tape, duct tape or gaffer tape or electrical tape, any of these tapes here, they will just gonna, the glue is just going to melt and the thing is going to come off, right? So you don't want that. It's just going to leave the glue and all nasty, disgusting, sticky thing. You don't want that, okay? So you want something that's going to last and stick to the battery. So... This is actually a nice uh, heat resistant tape, okay? So you find this with the battery supplies um, or websites and all that. Uh, so this is the best one. It's pretty strong, okay? And we'll stick them and we won't melt, won't like move around as it gets hot, okay? So heat resistant tape. Ah, yeah! And then you go here. 
uh, like what connector you're gonna use you're gonna use a standard Anderson 45 amps Anderson they both share the same housing here uh, you're gonna have to get a crimper for the Anderson uh, connector uh, we're gonna think what what sort of thing you're gonna use for charging port if you're gonna use the standard battery connector here you're gonna use XLR connection uh, some chargers they have this sometimes uh, we have that uh, you're gonna use anti-spark connector like the XT90S uh, for uh, like avoid sparks and damaging the connectors if you plug in and plug all the time you're gonna have to get some like uh, electrician or electronics uh, like plies and tools like this you have to watch a lot of videos you're gonna buy tools uh, like don't compromise with, with, with materials like uh, get the good one okay so you're gonna need a heat gun like this you're gonna need a PVC wrapping to, to, to finish your battery you okay so and then you're gonna need some things to put in between the wrapping and the and the bare pack so you're gonna wrap this thing in paper as well also it's always good to have the freezer spray okay so when you're soldering the BMS wiring here you don't want to heat going to the battery and cooking this thing inside right you're gonna need multiple size uh, heat shrink here okay the a good heat shrink with dual wall glue inside so you're not gonna let any moisture go inside the the heat shrink okay this is a really good one really quality okay get a good silicone wire okay don't get a nasty uh chip or uh, any 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 wire from the electrical shop get a good one get a silicone that's rated for up to 200 degrees okay this thing is not going to melt and cause a massive short circuit okay fire extinguisher man just keep a fire extinguisher very close in case of an emergency man this is serious man this is really serious so and then well you got all this thing done everything packed and then what's next what's next and then you're gonna plan how you're gonna carry this oh i didn't think about it and then you go here uh this is the jet pack uh or shark pack or however you call this uh this is how it looks inside right so this is see like you've got the cell holders and that one a bms here uh this is the dolphin pack right this is uh one like that comes from it's coming for repair oh you gotta pack your battery inside your backpack like i, I do and you're gonna have to plan your wiring or anti-spark connector it all depends what you want right? so it's not very easy it is, you know like you're gonna have all these things here right so you're gonna spend some money to make your battery pack just think twice before making a nasty pack okay you're gonna play you're gonna do this thing properly otherwise you're gonna end up like that okay ah you don't want this you want to power